Hey guys, welcome to my 17 week update, bump date. I don't know what I call these things, but yes, I am 17 weeks. Let me give you an update about baby. Baby is the size of a turnip. Also happening, they said between 16 and 22 weeks, the baby can start to hear, can hear my heartbeat, my blood pumping, <laughs> um, and then voices as well. So that's pretty exciting starting the bond there. It also said that the baby's bones are starting to harden. Also by next week, the layers of the skin should be fully developed and sweat glands are starting to develop. So um, not like too exciting this week with the baby, but just continuing to develop. Um, as for me, so symptom wise, I'm feeling a lot better. I have finally stopped taking the Unisom and the B6 combo. I just got so fed up with it one night that I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna not take it and see how I do. And up until that point for most nights, like I hadn't really been feeling any nausea. And if I did, it would be like right at night. So I was like, I'm just gonna try it. And I haven't taken it since. So usually I'm pretty good. The nausea might creep up here or there at like random times during the day or if it's gonna happen, usually it's at night. But for the most part, like I'm nausea free. So that's been awesome. And to not have to take those pills every night has been amazing. So right now all I'm taking is my vitamin, my daily vitamin. And then like if I get a headache, I'll take Tylenol, which another symptom, I have been getting a lot more headaches lately. I actually haven't gotten one in a couple days. Watch, I'm gonna jinx, my, jinx myself now, but I have been getting a couple of headaches here and there. Um, my sinuses have cleared up. I've finally gotten over this cold that I've been with for forever that the boys gave me. And so I'm feeling better that way. So all around, like I'm just feeling a lot better. Definitely that second trimester. I don't know whether you wanna call it like just feeling better. They always say you feel your best in the second trimester. And that is true right now. Like I'm feeling pretty good. I'm still pretty tired. There will be nights where it's like 9, 9.30 and I just wanna go to bed. <laughs> Sometimes I can stay up. I am drinking a cup of coffee a day and it does seem to help but it does not last because then by night like I am exhausted um, I've been having crazy dreams and I'm not sure if it's like from me weaning off the unisom well I'm not really weaning I just kind of stopped at cold turkey um, so I'm not sure if that's affecting it or just like pregnancy and the hormones and stuff but I have been having some crazy dreams I keep having the same reoccurring dream well it's like the same idea but like it'll change here and there and it's us selling our house and we have to have everything out of our old house before the new people move in and like we're trying to race against time like it's always something like that like super stressful dreams so i have been dealing with that usually i can sleep through the night i'd say about two to three times a week i have to get up in the middle of the night and pee but other than that usually i'm sleeping through the night i have been peeing a lot more i've also just been feeling a lot of like stretchiness like in my uterus area, like it just feels like it's stretching, getting bigger, like a lot of pressure down there, which I feel like I didn't feel as much in my first two pregnancies. So um, I don't know if it's just like my body knows what to do and it's just getting bigger faster or what, but I have been feeling a lot of that. Every, I'd say about once a week, I'll have it to where I go to bend down to reach something and I get this shooting pain in my back. And it only happened like, during that moment and then like the rest of the week I'm fine, but that does happen every now and again. I've been having cravings, I guess you could say, every here and there. For some reason, I really have been craving ham and turkey sandwiches with mayo. I don't know why, but I love it so much. And in my first two pregnancies, I was like, I'm not gonna have any kind of cold meat because of like the concerns with the baby and stuff. But with my third pregnancy, I'm like, no, I'm doing it. So I do allow myself to eat um, cold cuts. However, I don't go to like Subway or like somewhere where they've just been sitting out for a long time because that just seems not the best. 
Um, so I haven't been doing that. And so like if I go to a sandwich place, like I do get it hot. Um, but if it's just at my house in my fridge, I think it's okay. So I have been craving that. And then last night I was really craving mac and cheese. Uh, sometimes I just really crave noodles or I'll really crave like pretzels or goldfish. Um, not so much craving like sweets. Mostly craving like saltier things, which is different because I feel like with my first two I usually crave the sweets. So does that mean anything? I don't know. But like, it's like the cravings come and go. It's not like I always have to have this certain thing. But if you're curious, that's what it is. I crave like chicken sandwiches and a lot of meat this time, which is just different. I have started to wear some of my maternity clothes. Um, this is a maternity shirt. Um, these are regular jeans, but I am just about to bust out of these, so I won't be wearing these too much longer. It's definitely more comfortable with the maternity jeans with like the stretchy waist. Yeah, I mean, my belly is big, but I could still fit into like most of my regular shirts because a lot of my regular shirts are just like a little more flowy anyway so it's like I could go either way um, sometimes the maternity shirts really bug me because they have that ribbing at the side and sometimes it just really bugs me like touching my skin I don't know so it just kind of depends on my mood of that day I guess I had my doctor's appointment on Monday uh, today is Thursday so it was a couple days ago so I'll tell you guys about that um, so I went to the doctor and I signed in and they took my weight and my blood pressure, which was fine. I've actually gained weight the past couple of, well, I guess this is only my third appointment. And um, my last appointment I had lost a pound, but this time I had gained like four pounds or something. So I'm definitely doing better with the weight gaining. They don't ever like, voice their concerns about my weight. I've never had that problem. And then blood pressure, they said was fine. So that was easy. And then this was one of those doctor's appointments where like it lasts like literally five minutes because I'm so normal in my pregnancies. Like I never have issues. This is my third time. I don't really have questions. <laughs> it's still really early. So these appointments go super fast. So my doctor came in and asked me how I was doing and I told her that I'm feeling so much better in the second trimester and blah, blah, blah. And she was so happy to hear that. And um, she found baby's heartbeat with the Doppler. So the heartbeat was, she said 150. So I think last time it was like 160 something. And this time it was 150, so it was lower, but she said it was good. Um, she, funny, when she was, try, she was trying to find the heartbeat, she could hear the baby swirling around. I swear this baby moves a lot. I think it does. Oh, by the way, I am starting to feel baby now. I just started maybe uh, it was a little over a week ago. I started to feel baby and so it's super exciting. At first I was like, is it, is it not? But now for sure I know. Like I feel it right in the middle, very low, but I can totally feel it. Only at certain times, of course, if I'm just like sitting and staying still, not if I'm running around chasing the boys, but I have been noticing it, which is super fun. Um, a lot less stressful because <laughs> I don't always have to like get the Doppler out. Um, I can feel the baby all the time. So yeah, that's been really fun. But anyway, yes, she heard the baby swirling around a whole bunch and then finally was able to find the heartbeat. So that was good. Didn't measure me for the fundus height or whatever. I don't remember when they started that. I thought maybe they would have started it now, but I guess you have to be further along. So I didn't do that. Um, and then she told me that my next appointment would be the anatomy scan. So I was super excited about that. And yeah, that was it. Super fast. I did my urine sample, which is always so glamorous. Um, oh, they did offer me the flu shot. And so I did get that. Um, usually I don't really get flu shots. Um, I usually only get them if I'm pregnant, just because your immunity is much lower when you're pregnant. And um, when you get the shot, like the antibodies like pass on to the baby. So I did get it. And oh my gosh, I think that nurse was really bad at giving shots. Like I think she needs practice or something because my arm hurt so bad. It even hurts a little bit now, like, few, like three days later. But I swear there was a bruise. She like 
stuck me and then it hurt going in and then she pulled it out and I was like bleeding like crazy. She had to do like two band-aids because I was bleeding so much. So yeah, that hurt. I mean, it was worth it, but dang, that was not fun. <laughs> but anyway, I scheduled my next appointment. So it's been four weeks. It's actually the day before Thanksgiving. So uh, the plan is, is hopefully Anthony can come with me. I got it around his lunch time, so hopefully his boss will let him work around it. And uh, I'll have my mom watch the kiddos. And we will go to the anatomy scan. Anthony has actually never been to an anatomy scan before. Um, when I was pregnant with my first, he was working that day and couldn't get off, so my mom went with me. With my second, it was COVID, and so nobody was allowed to go. I couldn't even record it, they wouldn't even let me. Um, and so now with this third one, I told him, I really want you to come. He didn't come with my to my first appointment. He hasn't like, he's seen the pictures of baby, but hasn't seen baby in real time. And it would be a fun opportunity for us both to find out the gender at the same time. So that's the plan is for us to go together, find out the gender, and then that weekend uh, when we do Thanksgiving, we'll tell our families. Not quite sure how I want to do the gender reveal yet. I've been looking online. Of course, there's like, you know, open the box and balloons come out, or there's the smoke, or I don't know. There's just a lot of different um, ideas. Like there's a scratch off. I've seen fortune cookies. I think the way I'm going to have to do it is I'm going to have to get something where I can get a blue, like a boy one and a girl one because we're gonna find out and then like the next day we're gonna tell our family. So it's not a lot of time to prepare. And I was thinking about the balloon idea but I think it might be kind of hard because I need helium and I don't wanna fill the balloons up the day before because they won't last till the, till the next day. Like they'll be dead, like the helium will have gone. And then of course on Thanksgiving, like everything will be closed. So I'm thinking maybe like smoke, just be easier we'll get a blue canister and a pink canister and then we'll just pick which one it is so that's kind of what i'm thinking but still have no idea if it's a boy or a girl hoping it's a girl but um brace, bracing myself if it's a boy so really don't know anthony's positive it's a boy because he's convinced we're only gonna have boys so we will see but all in all it was a really good doctor's appointment i'm so excited for the next one because the anatomy skin is always the best um, it's long, they look at baby for a long time. You get to see like all the intricacies of baby, baby's heart and lungs and spine and fingers and toes and head and it's really fun. It can be stressful because um, they are looking at baby to see if there's any an anomalies, but usually it's fun. So I'm excited to see baby and have Anthony share that with me and find out gender so we can start thinking about names. So anyway, I feel like that was a lot to update you all on. Definitely in a better mood um, this week than I have been ever before. So yeah, I wish I could always stay like this, but I know when the third trimester comes, I'm gonna be huge, I'm gonna be exhausted, I'm gonna be, yeah, especially like um, chasing around two kids and huge and yeah, I'm not looking forward to it, but. It's all worth it um, to get that cute little baby at the end. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to stay tuned for more updates on baby and I'll see you guys next time.